Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Deloy. So it is still trade season. A ton of room, rumors, speculations, all that good stuff. But typically, we are talking about trades that are likely to happen or that we are projecting will happen. But today, we are talking about a trade that actually was seemingly rejected by the Sacramento Kings. Now, according to Sean Sharania of The Athletic, it looks like last week we heard there were discussions between the Sacramento Kings and the Toronto Raptors. The trade was going to involve Pascal Siakam on the Raptors side, and for Sacramento, it was going to involve Harrison Barnes. Now, this seems like the likely trade package, right? Every trade scenario we have heard so far from the Sacramento Kings has had Harrison Barnes really as the main piece. They are looking to offload him to potentially add another great piece to that Sacramento team. And um, Pascal Siakam would have been a great fit. He comes to Sacramento. You'll still have De'Aaron Fox there. You then put in a Pascal Siakam next to De to a De'Aaron Fox. I think that is a very good lineup. We know what Sacramento is building, a young core that could try to compete. And I think Siakam does help that. But one thing that does make a trade difficult to actually take place is Pascal Siakam will be an unrestricted free agent this summer. So for a team to really give up a ton of assets outside of a Harrison Barnes, right, or a player like that, you will really want to be guaranteed, at least be fairly confident that Siakam has you on their list and he is ready to re-sign with you long term. So that way you're not just flipping assets for just a half a season rental and moving on from there. We're also hearing that Sacramento, not, not only on top of that, they also are trying to get a deal done relatively quickly. They are now waiting until the trade deadline. They would like to lock in the deals, especially the big deals, as quickly as possible so that way they have a little bit of extra time to build that continuity, to get that chemistry together, and then go from there trying to make that playoff push. So they're looking for it to be done as quickly as possible. Now, for the Raptors, it is interesting because we have just seen this with OG on the newbie in terms of Sacramento electing to wait, all right, because OG was a guy who was on the trade block for a year and a half, and he would have got more probably last season than what they got this season if they elected to trade him last trade deadline. They waited, his value dipped a little bit, and then they finally let him go. Pascal Siakam is a player that has been on the trade deadline for quite some time. He has definitely been on the trade, trade block for a while and I think right now, waiting until the end of that contract, the value that Toronto can receive for Pascal Siakam is not going to be the same that it would have a year ago, maybe even two years ago. Because remember, we have heard Siakam's name come up around trade deadline for at least the last two seasons, maybe even three seasons. It has been a while that we have heard Pascal Siakam as a potential candidate to be traded. It has not happened, and now you're going to see that um, that value tend to go down. Now, Sham Sharani is saying that the Kings are out. They have informed Toronto, they are out because the deal did not get done quick enough. And the only real way that this deal opens back up is if Toronto reaches out to Sacramento. Now, of course, we know as we get closer to the trade deadline and we see other moves happen and teams start getting desperate and wanting to pull the trigger, teams will re-enter the fold. They will re-enter the mix. They will begin talking to some other teams that, that they talked to before to try to get those deals done. So I don't expect this to be a situation where they just never talk again. But we also know how this goes. Are you offering, you know, the same thing you would have offered now in two weeks? I'm not sure if, if you are. So it's going to be interesting, very interesting to ultimately see what Pascal Siakam ends up going for um, and what Sacramento, you know, what they do with Harrison Barnes, because that is a very real player. And I expect to hear his name come up a lot more in the upcoming weeks outside of Pascal Siakam. I think we will hear Harrison Barnes. I think he will be um, a good value piece for a team that is competing. They want that little bit uh, veteran leadership. As for the Kings, Yes, I like Harrison Barnes, but if you could get a younger player that can contribute at least on the level of Harrison Barnes, maybe a little bit better fit for your team, I like that as well. Because Harrison Barnes, uh, he gets a bad rap, still a very good player. He can do a lot of great things for you, and I think a lot of teams are interested in that. But at the same time, the Kings, 
I can see them moving on from him, and I expect that he will probably be moved closer uh, by the trade deadline if there is a tempting offer. I don't think they'll just unload him for nothing. Um, there will have to be a beneficial offer, of course, but I do expect his name to pop up, pop up in trade talks. Same with Pascal Siakam, but the King seemingly out. I would not rule it completely out as of right now because we have seen this before. And, of course, between now and the deadline, a lot of stuff could change. But that is what is being reported by The Athletic today. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions on it? Do you like Pascal Siakam with the Sacramento Kings in exchange for Harrison Barnes? Maybe even a couple draft picks. I'm not sure how much the tra- draft capital capital will be, but you would assume it's at least one, right? You want to definitely give up something to get the younger player. Let me know what you guys think about it, though, in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me a favor. Go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.